morning, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you. I'm Roger Bleasy, the Shave Lion. Welcome to my show. And it's wonderful to see all of you today. And uh, I hope that the Lord blesses your day. It continues to lead and guide you. Well, guess what? I've got another shave for you today. Yes, that's right. Today, I'm going to be shaving with... Bum, bum, bum. Yes, my Diane straight razor very nice I just recently stropped this it's all ready to go I'm also going to be using my galaxy brush yes this is a third uh, 24 millimeter synthetic brush by Tampa shave company a wonderful brush indeed and really good uh, at soaping stuff up just you wait and see all right and today's shaving soap is Smith Smitten Soapery's Morning Wood Shaving Soap. There you go. There's a picture of the tin there. And this is a wonderful scent. It is the scent of cedar wood and lavender. I love both of those scents. Mm. And they put them together in such a nice, lovely combination. Very good. All right, so that's today's wonderful uh, shave. Hope you're looking forward to it. I certainly am. And we're going to go ahead now and view the soaping. So please join me for the soaping. Okay, you guys, welcome once again. And here we go. As you can see, I have my bowl, my brush, and my soap. And we're going to go ahead and crack this open. And once again, we're going to hydrate our brush so that there's water in it. But we're going to take out the majority of the water. All right. I'm going to set that aside. And now let's load up the brush. So how are you guys doing today? It's sure wonderful to see you. Thank you for joining me and for... Uh, Availing yourself to not only a wonderful shave this morning, but also God's Word. And I have a special word from God today from Revelation. John's wonderful vision of Revelation. Well, wonderful and terrifying and all kinds of things. But I'm sharing one of my favorite parts here today. And I truly love it. Okay, there is the soaked up brush. Let's go ahead and commit it to the bowl, shall we? And go ahead and whip this up and see what we got. Okay, looks like I might need to add some water. Let's see how it is. Yeah, let's see here. Got a little bit more mixing. Looks pretty good actually on the moisture level, so. I think we'll be all right there. There we go. Luscious. Look at that. Lovely, lovely leather. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Very good. Well, let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to let you stare at that lovely lovely foam and I'm going to read from the revelation of John all right and in this section this is from Revelation chapter 7 beginning at verse 9 and it explains John's seeing in his vision this great multitude of every nation it says, After this I looked, and a great multitude that no one could number, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to the Lamb. And all the angels were standing around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God saying amen 
blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these clothed in white robes, and where have they come? I said to him, Sir, you know. And he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore, they are before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple, and he who sits on the throne will shelter them with his presence. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb in the midst of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of living water, and God will wipe every tear well, God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. That ends the reading. And that was, once again, uh, Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 through verse 17. All right, you guys. Let's all meet you upstairs for the shave and devotion. All right, you guys. I got the shirt tucked in already. And now it's tile presentation time. You know... It's time to present the towel type of thing. All right, there we go. Oh, I got a hot towel today. Woohoo! It is a hot one. All right, present the towel. Woo! Woo! Whew. <sighs> That's one hot towel. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. That towel is so hot, it'll stay hot during this entire message. Goodness sakes alive. Okay. Well, let's get to it. And here is our lovely lather. Mmm. Very nice. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, look at the coverage on that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I love John's vision to Revelation. It is a wonderful and a terrifying piece of God's Word. And yet, there is so much comfort found in it as well. And especially here where John is beholding the great multitude before the throne of the Lamb oh I love that one I love it so much and the reason why I love it so much is that it gives us comfort it truly does and if you think about it when John receives this wonderful vision He sees the reality, the wonderful reality, that God loves all people. Remember, he sees a multitude of people from every tribe, every language. In other words, people throughout all the world. In other words, no nation is excluded. No nation is excluded. No color is excluded. No language is excluded. It's all wonderful. All right, here we go. First pass, and let's get started. Very nice. So far, so good. Oh. Yeah. I mean, think about it. God loves everyone. And he wants all to come to the knowledge of the truth and be saved. 
And the thing about it is, John, even though he was asked by one of the elders, who are these people? And from where have they come? John is still left for words. I mean, he doesn't know how to explain it. And yet, the answer, of course, comes. It comes in all of its glory. Let's focus on the people, though, for a moment, first of all. They're standing there, and they're dressed in white robes. White is always a symbol of purity. They are pure. They are pure. They are holy. They are righteous. They are set apart uh, as God's holy people. Think about that. Oh, this is cutting famously. Alright, let's see here. And the thing is, they're worshipping the Lord who's there at this, on the throne. They are worshipping him. And you can't be in heaven and be worshipping the Lord if you're not with the Lord. And the thing is, even though John could not explain who it was, the, a, the elder certainly could, couldn't he? And he does. That's the neat thing about it. He explains exactly who they are. And so he says, Who are these? And the elder replies, These are they who have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. In other words, they are followers of the Lamb of God, Jesus, the Son of God, who, by washing their sins in His blood, have received salvation. You know what? That crowd that he saw is you and me. It really is. You and me who believe, we're in that crowd. That's us with white robes. We're holding palm branches and waving them in worship of our Lord and God. Because you see, he purchased and won us. <laughs> He did. He purchased what is by his holy blood. And we received the benefit of that. Oh, it's just amazing. So, that is his vision there. And a beautiful vision it is. Okay, I'm going to wet my face again. And lather up for the second pass. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go, suck pass, cross grain. Lovely. <laughs> Again, a beautiful scent on the soap. And I guess what I want you to take away from all of this the most today is that the fact that our Lord does indeed love all people. I mean, honestly. Many groups of people would like to limit his love to a specific section of society, but we simply cannot do that, not honestly. And it's very important that we get that straight. Because it is 
quite grievous to our Lord. When, when we take that attitude, that it's only for a certain percentage of the people. Christ loves all people. And a story. There's no arguing it. There's no skirting around the word here. Every tribe, every nation, every tongue. I mean, you can't get any more sure than that. Wow, this thing cuts smooth. Unbelievable. That's really quite a nice uh, razor. This Diane. I mean, I. It doesn't. It's not very expensive either. So if you're looking for a good, cheap razor to get started in straight shaving, this Diane. Uh, what's the number on it again? I gotta check. I keep forgetting. Diane 073, made by from. Heh. <laughs> You can't beat it. It's really good. I mean, it even came shave ready for the most part. Need a little bit of touch of honing, but it was good. Awesome. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. So, I want you to be encouraged to know that if, if you're somehow grieved because of your situation in life, believe me, the Lord loves you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter the circumstances you're in right now. Jesus loves you without question. And he wants you to be where he is. Okay? But you must receive Him. You must accept His love and His grace. You must believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. The glory of God the Father. You'll be saved. You'll be saved and safe in His wonderful care. Lovely. Second pass complete. One more to go against the green. All right. Let's go ahead and wet the face again. And we'll lather up. I know I've got tons of lather left. I mean, look at this. My goodness sakes alive. I'm not going to even squeeze it out of my brush today. We're just going to go with it this way. And enough said. You get the gist of it. But I thank you for listening. Because it's highly important for us. Alright. Here we go against the grain.
Very good. Other side. Very nice and baby but smooth. Ha 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 ha. Gotta love it. Beautiful. Wow, that feels good. <sighs> All right. Well, there we go. And there you have it. Another wonderful shave. And now, I'm going to use some aftershave. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to just go ahead with Brute 33. I'm going to use my Brute 33 as my aftershave for today by Fabergé. We'll go ahead and put some on. Oh, very good. Beautiful. All right, my friends. Please take care of yourself, and please take time to rate, share, and subscribe. You know very well when you're doing so, you're proclaiming the Lord's Gospel, you're helping, and you're giving people an opportunity to hear the Word that they may not normally have. Thank you so much for joining me, and I ask that the Lord bless you, and may He give you Nick Free and baby butt smooth shaves. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you again.